good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another episode here on african confessions the following story that you're going to be listening to it was sent to me by one of our admins and the message reads like this good morning brother nashi how are you can you please post my own story as hidden identity i have this confession that i want to share with you it really worries me i don't have peace because of the things that i did my friend and i we could not be separated at all some people would say that we were really close as if there were some secrets that we were keeping we were as thick as thieves now and then i would go and help her at her sister's business as i was a bit pressed financially the sister had made it very well i mean very well the husband was beyond rich he had a lot of money so now and then i would go and help at the business one day their maid had an emergency that needed to be attended promptly promptly and my friend asked if i could stand in for her at her sister's house i said that would not be a problem as long as i was being part of the peace jobs i would not have any problems with it i began working at the house and the sister was impressed with my skills i was super fast and through be it from laundry to cooking that was just a small feat for me the money came in handy i managed to clear debts from my daughter's school and all was well the sister was so impressed to the point that even when her helper came back i would go and help thrice at their house so i knew that come month end i would have made such and such an amount even the relatives that came commended me for doing such a sterling work i was eager to please and yes please indeed i did time moved and i started to notice some unusual movements from the men of the house he would come back and now then from his business and each and every time when i will be there he will always be around the house first it was taking a shower or changing clothes or preparing for a business meeting but why did not him just prepare for the business meeting at his office i had been there and when i went to his office i had found it to be quite quiet and cozy he would ask me to prepare lunch for him or to iron his clothes well it was part of the job so i did not notice anything out of the ordinary well let me take you back a little bit madam was someone who did not lift a finger even to cook for a single day she did not even do her own laundry or even clean her own bedroom she always hired people to do stuff for her money plus lack of exercise had led her to accumulate fat on her body too much fat that she was so obese the men of the house had told me that their sex life had died down it's like she no longer cared she was mainly concerned with her businesses and kids this had told me he had told me one day that he did not have time with his wife and he had asked me to be intimate with him but i firmly said no what he had not known was that when he asked me to be intimate with him he had opened up a hole a hole that i would worm myself into and i was going to settle for good the men of the house did not tire chasing after me he told me that he wanted to marry me he said he had been watching me from a distance and so far he was impressed with what he had seen i asked what were his intentions and what he intended to do with his wife and he honestly told me that he loved his wife they had built a life together and that should i agree to his wishes he would make me his second wife officially there will be no need for us to sneak around i had not given i had not given him a straight answer as i was afraid what the world would say i would be labeled all sorts of names from war to a homebreaker after he had persuaded me i finally agreed to start seeing the men we started seeing each other but this we did in secret we didn't want anyone to know that this was what we were doing even if you saw us talking to each other you would not even suspect a thing because i respected him like my boss i liked i liked the thrill of the hide and seek 
games that we were now playing, it gave me such a thrill and pleasure that it's just something that really feels good when you are cheating and when you are playing this game of hide and seek. The thrill of eating something that is forbidden is like a child stealing sugar in the cabinet careful not to be caught with the sugar but tempting that one would drop the sugar as time went by i grew tired of the sneaking around i wanted to openly see him to take me out for shopping i wanted to be with him for lunch to mention but just a few but he refused he said that we should continue doing this thing underground but I wanted more and more. Besides, I was not a sin that would be loved privately. No, that when I refused. Time went by and I realized that the man had no intentions whatsoever of marrying me. He just wanted to throw me around. He was as cunning as a fox. He was there to waste my time. Just like that, how was I such a fool? So I needed to devise a master plan. I would not be left with an egg on my face. I needed to eliminate, yes indeed, I had to eliminate his first wife. My plan had to go the way that I intended to. No one messes with me, I said, and gets away with it. I continued being civil to the man of the house, lest he get suspicious of my plans. Besides acting was one of my strongest points, I had totally mastered the game. During my off days, I began confiding in my neighbor that I was in a love triangle. A love triangle in which I was part of the equation. She said that I should not worry as she had some concoctions that would make the men in the triangle see me, only me. That was all that you would ever wanted. And I wanted this man to see me and to acknowledge that I was part of his life now. My neighbor, my neighbor gave me the concoction and said that all that I had to do was to take these love charms, to sprinkle these, these love charms on his food. That would be easy. It would be like taking candy from a baby. Besides, the woman of the house never did anything in and around the house, so it was like trapping a mouse with cheese. I cooked his favorite meal and I sprinkled my concoctions that I had been given by my lovely neighbor. I set the table and I told him that his food was ready. As he was about to eat, his phone rang and left the house, rushing and leaving the food untouched. Just what was this nonsense? He was the bait. I took the food and I placed it in the microwave. He will be back. I was sure of that. Besides, I was intentionally dangling the carrot. My knock of time was almost around, so I decided to take a shower so that I could catch the evening taxis back home. I quickly came out of the shower to quickly get dressed. On my way to the spare bedroom, I saw Madame. She was eating the food that was meant for her men, no, our men. She thanked me for preparing the food and asked how I had guessed that she would be hungry when she would come back. Ish, 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 I said, why have my ancestors deserted me like this? She was never to consume the food. I forgot about the incident and I went home. Two days, I received a call that the woman had been hospitalized. Hospitalized? How and when? It was said she had complained of stomach pains. The doctors had run around trying to find a cure for her illness, but they had not been lucky. Madam succumbed to the stomach illness and died. I was sad. Yes, I was sad, but I was happy at the same time. Have you ever had that feeling whereby you are excited, you are happy, but you are sad? So much sad that you want to cry and to laugh at the same time. That was what I was feeling at that time. My competition had been eliminated. Now I had to make power moves, moves that would make me sit at the highest table. Madam received a dignified send off. I would console the man of the house uh, to the point whereby I would hug him and I would promise him that I was going to be with, her, with him for the rest of his life. People labeled me with all sorts of names, but the barking of the dogs had never deterred the elephant. But moving in with the man was not as smooth as I had imagined. 
it seemed madam had been the love of his life and nothing could replace that not even some crazy sex that i would give him i had fulfilled my mission but deep down i was not happy i was not at peace even the money that i thought i would enjoy was not forthcoming the money would the men would leave small notes not sufficient to buy basics like bread and milk never enough to save ah what was i even doing here the man was becoming distant with each and every day he was sleeping out almost on a daily basis leaving me all alone in the mansion however night time was the worst for me each time that i tried to sleep i would see the late madam sitting on my bed staring at me tears trickling down her face this cannot be madam is dead and buried yet my neighbor given me a harmful concoction a poisonous concoction is that what had killed madam i never meant to kill her i just envied the lifestyle that she had i wanted her men to see me the men came home early and told me that we were not working at all that he needed time to properly mourn for his late wife he even said during the night i talked some things which did not make any sense to him he even took me to the hospital so that i can be reviewed i know that i was not mad i was just being haunted by the spirit of the madam i am now back home worse than before no one wants to employ me it's like i have a spirit that is hovering over me i lost a good friend i lost my source of income i lost the man i read in the news that he had a lavish wedding oh no this is the part that hurts me the most because when i looked at the woman in the picture i found out that this woman that he later got married to she was this other friend of madam so he chose his late wife's best friend over me it hurts me a lot i thought that the concoction was going to make my madam's husband to love me but brother nashi it did not work out in the end dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by one of our dear sisters it was sent to me by one of our admins indeed strange things do happen in this world